Hey guys, Locks and Low Firearm Views here today. I got a quick training tip, and this one is called Sight of a Boar. So you have your optic and you have your barrel. And there's about a two inch difference between those two points that you're gonna have to be aware of when you're shooting in or around barriers or shooting at targets closer than what your firearm is zeroed at. So first we're gonna go with in or around barriers. This light post is my barrier. So we're shooting, I get behind cover and I pop up. My optic is gonna tell me, hey, you're good, you're clear, you can see the target, you can shoot. But my barrel, as you can see, is going to tell me, hey, you're going to hit the light in front of you. So what that means is that I'm at the aim at my target, then come up higher, aiming over my target to be able to get my barrel clear of that barrier and be able to hit my target at whatever distance. Secondly, when it comes to your firearm, you got to understand, hey, if my firearm is zeroed at 25 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, but the target I'm shooting at is seven, 10 yards or closer than what I zeroed at, you have to understand how to compensate, be able to hit that target at that close distance. If it's at seven yards, you're gonna have to put your dot on the target and aim higher. Because otherwise, if you your zeros, let's say for this, 25 meters, and you put your dot dead on at seven meters, you're gonna hit low. So you're gonna have to understand that, get your dot on the target, then come up a little higher, and then crank off that round to be able to hit that target at a closer distance. So that's just a quick training tip on sight over bore. If you have access to a range where you can move around and get behind barriers and hit targets close up, that's something I recommend you add to your training regimen. But if you're in an indoor range, you can still somewhat try if they let you, but I recommend that you get a paper or cardboard so that way if you hit the target, you know, training, it just goes straight through and doesn't create shrapnel and hopefully it doesn't piss off the range people too much. But that's just a quick firearm knowledge that you can drop down your bucket, sight overboard guys. Uh, it's not too complicated, but it is something important to think of when you're shooting in around barriers or you're shooting at targets closer than what your firearm is zeroed at. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to drop more of these quick knowledge videos for you guys. And hopefully you enjoy. But anyway, hope you enjoy. Locks and load out.